You had a situation at dinner? So Giselle filmed me on a little bit earlier. There's a disconnect in between what's happening and like what other people are saying to me. It was described to me about how the conversation went last night was that it was like Giselle was attacking everybody. Can I say something? Wendy, are we good? I was going to talk to you about it. When we were there last night at dinner, you said to me, last year, mm -hmm. you had substance. This year, I don't know who you are and I can't put my finger on it. That's what you said. Okay. Verbatim. When you made those comments, that hurt me. I felt as though your body shaming me, like, okay, you need to cover up. Why have I seen so much Never of your boobies? That. I, Never Wendy, said that. I really don't can, think it was that wait, wait, can I, That's can I, I um, This is why I've always experienced people. But that's your right? Yeah, that's my So why so, didn't you mad at Giselle for your Because it was the comment of you saying, when I met you last year, you yeah. had substance. That was it. That was the only thing oh. I did have to co-sign. Yes. It felt like yesterday yeah. I was on, like, interrogation island. It was just kind of like, hey, Wendy, like, checking in, like... Wait. Thank you. If you felt like I offended you, my bad. That was not my purpose. Her apology is not genuine. If she was really my friend, she would have pulled me to the side to have that conversation instead of trying to humiliate me in front of the whole group. Did you cry? Karen said that you were very emotional. When Karen was talking to me, she poured into me. And that meant the world to me. You're welcome. What the F? WTF. Child. <laughs> Whatever. I will forever appreciate that. That's beautiful. Let's be clear. Wendy, Karen really doesn't like you. Candace and Karen used to have the same mommy dearest dysfunctional relationship. So go right ahead and fall in the mother goose trap. Look at God. Hi. 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 I was like, who's that hot girl walking up here? <laughs> what did I miss? A lot. Wendy was offended by what I said last night. Um, 100% I said she didn't have any substance. Uh, okay. Quite frankly, to Giselle's defense. You love a defense. Anytime I do see a lady who is more revealing, I just, I like to check in. Yeah. So I can see where she was coming from, for. People have plastic surgery, and this is part of why people don't say stuff, because then, hold on, let me minute. That's not that's right. Not I have to that's tell not you, true. that's not, not right. Not, that's not no true. one is let talking me, just about so your breasts. Let me, let me We're let talking that your behavior is just different. That's all. Actually, but Wendy, but when you're saying something, that's, that's not true. true. So because both times I've seen you, you have been parading your breasts, and that's okay. Ashley's breast pump in her forehead just got here. Why is she even inserting herself in a conversation that she knows nothing about? Why are these girls trying their damnedest to make something else of the situation? How are you gonna hide? Because, because you, you're because telling me to be me. quiet, and I'm, I'm telling, telling you that you're missing quiet. the point of the conversation. Some they people don't, don't want to hear what people are observing. Yeah. And, and like I said, sometimes it is difficult I think, truth. I don't yeah. think it's a difficult truth. But, Honestly, I think but, I think no, part of this is, is I'm not gonna talk over you. Truth. Why are you cutting okay. me off? Because I was talking and you cut me off. You it's always cut moment. people off. I didn't cut you off. Stop, what's stop what's this. Wasn't... You talk like we are on CNN and this is a combative contest. And are we just talking? Coming up next. Giselle told me there is this fabricated article about Eddie. That's a lie. She's definitely a spawn of the devil. You talk like we are on CNN, and this is a combative contest. And are we just talking? She's yeah. talking to you, and you're looking at your phone. Because she going just like said this. CNN, and I never like. confirmed that I'm doing my TV show tomorrow. It, it, it's, I'm, I'm cool. I won't bring nothing to you because you can't I, receive nothing. It's I'm cool about with the it. fact that you know you I'm don't like, like the I'm fact that like, I'm not Lemon. agreeing. I'm not with you. any of those but people. I, I'm just like, Giselle trying to talk to you. Jeez. Mm. I mean, let's be real because the ladies are talking, honey. You had a whole thong coming out of your sweatpants yesterday. Mm -hmm. That was an outfit from Zara. Victoria's Secret put outfits together too, but we're not wearing them on a, on a bus. 
you have this whole past, and I have never judged you for being a stripper. I wasn't a stripper. I was an entertainer at a five-star restaurant where we served steak and lobster. Where there were strippers, and you said that, no, hey. No, uh, they weren't strippers. Can they I were entertainers. Them? Okay, and then yeah. you even said. But they took their clothes only... off as yes. strippers, right? Yeah. Exactly. Shortly oh. after serving drinks, yes, I did become a stripper. I met him. Most of the time, my clients never wanted me to take my clothes off. No, it's different. Girl, you were a lady of the night. Period. With your big old feet. I just find it rich, the commentary coming from you. I will receive it, but, but uh, because I didn't we've wear never. Those outfits so out basically, you're saying because of her past, she can't have commentary? Like, that ain't right. That's not fair. You heard what I said, that's not what I said. In the past, I worked at a gentleman's club to provide for my babies. You definitely want to show your assets. That's how you make money. But we're on a girl's trip. We don't need to see your assets. We're not paying you. And so my husband, that fine chocolate man, yeah. he knows how much I have sacrificed for our kids, for our family. And the fact that he's even able to say, I'm so glad you are happy with who you are, Eddie wins. We might as well just keep our observations to ourselves. I'll tell you how I feel right now. You are hella, H-E-L-L-A, <laughs> judgmental. Oh my god. First of all, if we're going to judge anybody's fashions, Giselle would be sentenced to life in prison under the jail. Second of all, why can't we all just get along? I have provided ambiance and y'all are still fighting. How many more days? This is That's where I am. On a lighter note, whiskey tasting is, I think, in like 30 minutes. Okay. 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 Yeah. So we, so we think, shoot in the little excited. girls' room yeah, before so we go. Yeah, it's cold, right? It's cold, right? Streets, yeah. I it's know. cold in the streets. Okay. But she's beyond defensive. Mm -hmm. And then the whole, like, my husband loves me, let me shed a tear. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling bad now because I really do want to talk about it with her. But it would be better coming from one person versus the group, I think. She may take it better if it's like from, well, me. And maybe she feels like it's kind of chipping away the uh, armor. I'm done with Wendy. I'm not talking to her about anything else outside of her braid because clearly she can't handle it. I'm gonna ask her. Okay. Every year, there's another break the internet moment with Michael Darby. Anybody can understand and empathize. It's Ashley. This conversation would be better received from her. Going back to the house. 